Hey guys, still trying to figure out the scenery I want to go on in my videos, but this will do for now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going through my gym bag and talking about what's in it. As you probably already knew when you clicked on this video. But first thing I want to start off with is this new gym bag I just got from Vuray. I think that's how you say it. I'm not actually sure. But Vuray reached out to me and sent me this bag and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's so cute. It's the perfect size. I was in need of a new gym bag and I had way too much stuff in my old one. It was way too heavy. I was just lugging it all around the gym. So I cleaned out that one, put the stuff, the necessary stuff in this one, pretty necessary, and here we are. They have this bag in a couple different colors. I think they have a marble one, and they have little mini bags, they have backpacks. I'll just put some pictures up on the screen so you guys can see, and you guys should totally check them out because they're not too pricey at all, very durable. It's got a little side pocket right there, and then big main pocket, little front pocket right there, and a little zipper pocket on the inside too. With that being said, let's see what's inside. We're gonna start off with something kind of silly, but, um, you know, it's bra pads. I keep these in my gym bag because they're kind of annoying, and when you run your bras through the washing machine, they get all, you know, and they get all clumped in there if you leave them in, and it's just a pain. So I usually just take them all the way out, and instead of putting them in the slit they're supposed to go in, I just put them all the way on the inside. It just works for me. But sometimes I forget to put them in before I go to the gym, and then I've got RT when I'm at the gym. So gotta have a backup plan just in case I forget. Okay, the next thing I always have in my gym bag, or that I bring with me at least, is a sweatshirt or a jacket. This one I got at a thrift store, and I don't usually wear it out because it's kind of inappropriate, but it's really soft. Um, I like wearing these because I tie them around my waist when I'm doing some squats, in case I feel like I'm being creeped on, you know? Or when I'm doing hip thrusts, you know, it just makes me feel more comfortable. Okay, the next thing in my gym bag that I use every leg day that is vital, very important, if you don't have one of these yet, I don't know what you're doing. And it is this bar pad. I've used this in videos before. I've seen it on my Instagram, if you follow me. This, you, I can't do hip thrusts without it, okay? I've tried before I had this with the yoga mat and I just ended up with bruised hips. It's the worst. But this, so cushiony, so thick, you know it doesn't hurt. I mean, it hurts your glutes, but it's not gonna hurt your hips. Um, and I got this on Amazon. By the way, most things will be linked in the description box down below, except for things I got at the thrift store because those are one of a kind, kind of. Okay, the next thing in my gym bag is resistance bands, another vital thing. So I have these ones. I usually use this one on like sh shoulders, arm type of thing. This one I like to use for warm ups when I'm doing glute activation exercises like banded, kickbacks or little crab walks side to side, get those glutes fired up. And then I have these other resistance bands slash hip circles. I talked about these in my December favorites video. I'm just gonna mention them again, why not? Um, so they're thicker. These are gonna be way more heavy duty. Um, I got three sizes of those. These are all from Amazon, I don't know if I already said that. And these are great for leg day. If you just want to add some extra resistance, you know, do some hip thrusts, banded, you'll fill it in your glutes. Oh my gosh. The next item in my gym bag is this Sweet Sweat Waist Trimmer. Now, honestly, I don't know how well these work. This one, I just feel like it does make me sweat a lot on my abdomen, and it's kind of cool to see. I think it's like a water weight thing. Um, but I used to have the, you know, like the Kardashian waist centers. Don't waste your money. Not worth it, okay? All it's gonna do is give you indigestion and 
make you not be able to breathe. Next up, in my gym bag, got some deodorant. Men's deodorant, because the women's deodorants never work. Or maybe I'm just extra smelly. Also, Dallin and I, my husband, share a gym bag. So we share deodorants too. I don't know if you think that's gross, but I don't really care. But I am looking for a new deodorant because I found out that this one is not cruelty free. So if you know of any good deodorants that are cruelty free, leave them down in the comments below because I'm looking for a good one. And it has to be strong, okay? Men's strength. Let me know. Next up in my bag is something that was my husband's, but now I use it too. And it's these wrist straps for deadlifting because your girl has some weak grip. And you work on it. But these make it a lot easier to lift heavy and not freaking have your hands be ripped off. So you just go like this, wrap it around the bar, grab it, good to go. Way easier. Invest in some of these. Honestly, I don't know where these are from, but I'll try to find out. But I'm sure Amazon has them because Amazon has everything. Okay, the next item is kind of a problem because I have way too many. Oh, one more, I forgot the other one. Okay, and that is headphones. So yeah, I, I do share a gym bag with Dallin, but that's just two people. So I don't know why I have four headphones. These ones are Dallin's. He got them at Target. He likes them a lot because they hook like that. Um, and they're not too pricey. They're the JBL something from Target. And then my first pair of headphones I got, well actually it's my second pair because the beats, you know, over your head, you know. I had the white and gold ones and they got stolen. So then I bought these ones and I still like them. But then I bought the other beats. You know, I don't even know what any of these names are, these headphones, I should, but what are you gonna do? Power Beats. I still like these ones a lot. They're the hook over your ears, you know. I don't know, I'm one of those people who can't work out without music. I mean, I can, but the music's just so motivating. So I need me some headphones. And my favorite pair, talked about these before on Instagram and in my, in my April favorites, May? I think it was April. My studio headphones, which I still have a discount code for these. And I don't remember exactly what it is, but I will put it right here. Um, I like these ones a lot. I like this instead of over the ear. They stay in well, they're cute. So these are probably my favorite. But the nice thing about having multiple pairs of headphones in your gym bag is you'll be wearing these. They do that beepy thing like they're dying. And then you can be like, Grab the next pair. And then guess what? If your backup pair beeps and dies in the middle of your workout, you can grab your third pair because you have way too many headphones and you have a problem. But, what are you gonna do? Another item I have in my gym bag is these lifting gloves. My husband got these for me our first Christmas together. Fit life, you know. Um, but they're nice, you know, no calluses. I still kind of want to have like nice girly hands. I can be strong, but I don't want to have yucky hands too much. So I wear these once in a while, not every time. And they're nice, you know, your hands don't hurt as much. So if you don't want to get too many calluses, I'd say to grab a pair of these and they make you look like you're ready to fight somebody. Um, another item I keep in my gym bag is my water bottle, which I've talked about this water bottle before. Um, I recently got another water bottle that was like glass and cute and stuff, but I broke it, you know. I have an issue with breaking water bottles, but this one's steel, so I don't think I can break this one, but you never know. I'll let you guys know if I ever do. And the last thing that I have in my gym bag, this is also very important, it's just a bunch of some silicone rings. I have a white one too. Um, I got these on Amazon. Pretty much, who doesn't? Amazon's everything, okay? But I used to not really care to wear my ring while I was working out, but then I thought about it, and I was like, working out five to six days a week over time is probably gonna put some wear and tear on my ring. 
and I need to be careful about that. So now when I get to the gym, I switch it out and I wear one of these my whole workout. So if you have any jewelry, I would recommend not wearing it while you're lifting. And if you're married, I would recommend getting one of these because also prevents getting hit on. It's a good thing. So that is everything that's in my gym bag. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to leave a comment down below for anything you'd like to see next and leave this and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and never forget to subscribe because I upload every week. Sorry, I've been slacking lately, but you know what? I upload every week, okay? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.